We bought this swimsuit for my daughter. She's 11, so this is adult size. She got size small, but it's just a tad too big. So I'm going to show you a very easy way to make it fit. And we have swim lessons in one hour, so I need to do this fast. <laughs> First, I'm going to take out the pads because they're a little too big for my daughter. And I'm trying to hurry, so I'm not using a tripod. Okay, so I take that out. And I want to be able to make sure that she can put in another pad in. So I don't want to sew over that. So I took out the pads and see this opening right here? I want to keep that opening so she can put another pad in. And if I were to sew it like this, following the seam, and I need to take about three quarter of an inch, that would close and she wouldn't be able to put it in. So what I'm going to do is what it looks like from here is instead of sewing it like this, and also it'll close that design, we want to keep that design, I'm going to just take it from here, the back, and sew it like this. So the design and the dart still stay and the hole in the back also stays. Just taking this one from the back and closing this and sewing it. And then with the bottom, you flip it inside out. And then I'm just going to take the sides and take it in just a tad, like this on both sides. So the bottom, I will be sewing like this. Just like this, fold it and you sew it along there so that it will look like this from the outside, like that. The top, I'm just going to use white thread, but this blue, I gotta find a thread that will match. So, this one is good. Yep, that works. Thanks! My daughter helped me. <laughs> I measured my daughter, and it's about, I would say, half an inch on both sides. So I'm just going to match the side here. I'm going to use this clip right here, so that it doesn't move around. Like that. Then about half an inch. And sew it all the way from top to bottom. You just follow the line. You know how the bikini bottom kind of curves like out from the waist to hip? So you, you follow that curve. So you don't sew it straight down because your body's not made straight down. It curves out from the hips. Then we do the other side. The same thing on the other side. I'm going to match it so it does not move. So again, half an inch. Cut the ends. Let's see how it turned out. Flip it inside out. See? See how the seam matches? I care more about the waist and the bottom. That's what you get for folding it. Yep, so it's much smaller. This one, as a reminder, you don't touch the front at all. You don't want to mess with the design. You just get the back one and fold it and sew. You fold it out this way and then you sew on the seam right here. So you sew on this seam, leaving this one untouched. This one, I want to say, was about almost an inch, three quarter of an inch. So you wanna follow this seam right here. And since it's very stretchy, if you want the bottom to match, you can like stretch it more. If this is shorter, stretch this more. If it's shorter and then make sure, you know, you can work around it so the seam is the same. Oh, I forgot to change my thread. Now that the thread is changed to blue, now we can sew the bottom. I'm going to sew it right here at the end right here. So the seam, you can't see this seam at all. From the inside, it'll hide it. So I wanted to sew it right here, right where the seam starts. I could have done this in like 10 minutes, but since I'm videoing every step, it takes me a little longer, but that's okay. So now we gotta leave. <laughs> gotta leave to our swim lesson. I'm going to stretch the bottom a little bit so that it will match the bottom, the other side. 
Okay. We are on a time crunch here. I'm going to quickly sew the other side. See? Looks good. Look at that. So I guess you can't sew it here, right? You can't sew it after this. So you gotta sew it kind of at the very edge. Because if you sew it after, you're only sewing this part. So you're not closing this. So you gotta secure this side. So I'm just sewing at the very edge right here. Past that point, you go, I'm going back to the edge. On threading is my favorite part, because that means you're done. This is the after. She hasn't tried it on yet, so I'm going to cut the extra fabric after, if it fits her. There you go. Because I'm a paranoid mom, I didn't want to get close-up shots of my daughter in the swimsuit, but you can see that it fits her perfectly now. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon. This is super embarrassing, but this is real life. <laughs> Look at this mess. It's not just mine, it's the kids. Yeah, you. Like she was trying to do something down there. I don't know what that is, so. Oh man.